Welcome to this week's security brief for week 28. Before we start, make sure you share and subscribe. To our first story, Roblox, a popular online gaming and game creation platform, has reported a data breach affecting attendees of its annual developer conference from 2022 to 2024. Roblox is a gaming platform known for its large community of over 200 million active users, recently revealed that FN Tech, the vendor responsible for handling conference registrations, experienced a security breach. The breach exposed sensitive information of conference attendees, including their full names, email addresses, and IP addresses. This data breach has affected approximately 10,386 unique email addresses, with 6,500 of them being newly compromised. The breach was discovered recently, but impacts data from the 2022, 2023, and 2024 Roblox Developer Conferences. The breach occurred within FNTech's systems, which manage the registration data for Roblox's developer events. The unauthorized access was aimed at a subset of Roblox user information through FNTech's website, compromising personal data of conference attendees. This raises concerns about potential targeted phishing attacks, although there is no immediate threat to the affected developers. Roblox has assured its users that it has implemented measures to prevent future data exposures. This is not the first time Roblox has faced security challenges. In November 2022, over 200,000 users were affected by a malicious Chrome extension targeting Roblox account. Moving on to the next story, a newly identified Advanced Persistent Threat, APT group known as Cloud Sorcerer, has been discovered exploiting cloud services to steal sensitive data from Russian government organizations. The threat actor, Cloud Sorcerer, was identified by Kaspersky security researchers in May 2024. This sophisticated group uses custom malware to conduct cyber espionage. Cloud Sorcerer utilizes legitimate cloud services such as Microsoft Graph, Yandex Cloud, and Dropbox for Command and Control C2 operations and data storage. The group's malware, a custom Windows backdoor, is injected into specific processes like MS Paint and MSI Exec to perform various malicious actions, including data collection and shell command execution. The cyber espionage activities were discovered in May 2024, though it is unclear how long the operations have been ongoing. The attacks specifically target Russian government entities, leveraging public cloud services to mask their activities and facilitate data theft. The motivation behind these attacks is cyber espionage, aiming to collect sensitive government information. The use of cloud services for C2 operations enables the attackers to maintain a low profile and complicate detection efforts. Kaspersky highlights the advanced nature of these attacks, noting the malware's dynamic adaptation and sophisticated data communication mechanisms. Indicators of compromise, IOC, and Yara rules for detecting the cloud sorcerer malware have been made available by Kaspersky to aid in defense efforts. Continuing to the third story, Ticketmaster, the global leader in ticket sales, has been hit by a significant data breach impacting nearly 39,000 print-at-home tickets for various high-profile events. The breach was orchestrated by a hacker group known as Sapi Wonder Hunters. They are responsible for leaking a substantial number of tickets for events involving major artists such as Pearl Jam, Fish, Foo Fighters, and many more. Approximately 38,745 print-at-home tickets were stolen and leaked online. These tickets are for 154 upcoming concerts and events, causing significant concern among ticket holders and organizers. The breach was revealed on July 8, 2024. However, the hackers have been active for some time, initially stealing data from Snowflake databases of various organizations in April 2024. The breach involves Ticketmaster's systems, particularly targeting their print-at-home ticketing solution, TicketFast. The leaked tickets are now circulating on the dark web, posing a serious risk of fraud at upcoming events. The hackers initially demanded a ransom of $500,000, which was later increased to $2 million, threatening to leak or sell the data if their demands were not met. Despite Ticketmaster's assurances about their SafeTix technology, which refreshes mobile barcodes, the hackers exploited the print-at-home tickets, which do not have the same security measures. In a related story, a fraudulent operation named the Ticket Heist Fraud Gang has been exposed for using over 700 domains to sell fake Olympic tickets. This gang's extensive network aims to exploit the high demand for tickets to the upcoming Olympics, deceiving countless unsuspecting buyers.
The Ticket Heist Gang operates by setting up numerous fake websites, mimicking legitimate ticket sellers to lure customers into purchasing counterfeit tickets. Authorities are urging the public to exercise caution and only buy tickets from verified and official sources. Moving on to the next story, in a major cybersecurity incident, Evolve Bank & Trust has disclosed a data breach affecting over 7.6 million Americans. Let's dive into the details of this alarming event. Evolve Bank & Trust, a significant financial institution in the United States, is at the center of this breach. The bank provides services to numerous fintech partners, including Affirm, Wise, and Built. The data breach was perpetrated by the LockBit Ransomware Group. This cyber attack exposed sensitive personal information of 7,640,112 individuals. The compromised data includes personal details, but Evolve has not specified exactly what types of data were exposed. The breach was discovered on May 29, 2024. However, investigations revealed that the initial unauthorized access occurred on February 9, 2024, giving the attackers nearly four months to exploit Evolve systems. The data breach impacted Evolve's databases and file shares, compromising a wide array of personal information. The attack was facilitated by an employee clicking on a malicious link, which granted the attackers access to the bank's network. The primary motive behind this breach appears to be financial gain through ransomware. LockBit initially made false claims of breaching the U.S. Federal Reserve, which were later disproven, revealing the true target as Evolve Bank. The attackers demanded a ransom, threatening to leak or sell the data if their demands were not met. Evolve Bank has taken immediate steps to mitigate the damage, including offering two years of credit monitoring and identity protection services to the affected individuals. They are also providing dark web monitoring services for international residents. The bank advises all impacted individuals to remain vigilant against unsolicited communications and monitor their financial statements closely. In related news, Authorities have exposed a fraudulent operation named the Ticket Heist Fraud Gang. This gang has been using over 700 domains to sell fake Olympic tickets, exploiting the high demand for the upcoming event. Authorities urge the public to purchase tickets only from verified sources to avoid falling victim to these scams. Continuing on, in a significant cybersecurity breakthrough, U.S. authorities have disrupted an AI-powered bot farm spreading Russian propaganda on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. Let's break down the details. The operation was managed by a deputy editor-in-chief at Russia Today, RT, and a Russian FSB officer employing the AI software Meliorator. Nearly a thousand Twitter accounts were taken down. These accounts, part of a sophisticated bot farm, disseminated disinformation to millions of users worldwide. The bot farm used AI to create authentic-looking personas, amplifying false narratives favoring Russian geopolitical interests. The disruption was announced on July 9, 2024. The bots had been active since 2022, spreading disinformation on various topics. The bots targeted users across the globe, including the United States, Poland, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, Ukraine, and Israel. The accounts were registered using private email servers, which have now been seized. The goal was to exacerbate discord and manipulate public opinion in favor of Russian interests. By using AI, the bot farm scaled its operations, making it harder to detect and counteract. FBI Director Christopher Wray emphasized that this represents the first disruption of a Russian-sponsored AI-enhanced bot farm. The operation involved international cooperation, including agencies from Canada and the Netherlands. Moving to the next story, GitLab has issued an urgent warning about a critical vulnerability in its software. The flaw, identified as CVE 2024-6385, affects GitLab Community and Enterprise Editions, specifically versions 15.8 to November 6, 16, 17.0 to 17, 0 0.4, and 17.1 to January 2, 17. GitLab a DevSecOps platform with over 30 million registered users, including more than half of the Fortune 100 companies, discovered this vulnerability that allows attackers to run pipeline jobs as any user. This means that under certain undisclosed circumstances, malicious actors can exploit this flaw to trigger new pipelines using another user's credentials. This vulnerability has been rated with a CVSS base score severity rating of 9.6 out of 10 highlighting the significant risk it poses. Pipelines are a crucial feature of GitLab's Continuous Integration Continuous Deployment CI-CD system, used to automate the building, 
testing, and deployment of code changes. Exploiting this flaw could lead to unauthorized access and manipulation of sensitive code and data. In response, GitLab has promptly released patches in the form of new versions, January 2nd, 17, 17, 0 0.4, and November 6, 16. The company is urging all users and administrators to upgrade to these latest versions immediately to mitigate the risk. To the next story, AT&T has confirmed a massive data breach, exposing the call logs of approximately 109 million customers. This breach has raised serious concerns about data security and customer privacy. The victims of this breach include nearly all of AT&T's mobile customers, as well as those using mobile virtual network operators, or MVNOs, serviced by AT&T. The stolen data comprises detailed call logs revealing telephone numbers of AT&T Wireline and other carrier customers, numbers contacted by AT&T and MVNO wireless customers, the count of interactions including calls and texts, and their aggregate duration. Additionally, some records include cell site identification numbers. However, it is important to note that the content of calls and texts, along with customer names, social security numbers, and birth dates, were not exposed in this breach. This breach was identified in April 2024, with the data being stolen between April 14th and April 25th, 2024. The stolen data dates back to periods from May 1st to October 31, 2022, and January 2nd, 2023. The breach occurred in ATTT's Snowflake account, a cloud-based data warehousing solution used for managing and analyzing large sets of data. This incident underscores the ongoing risks associated with cloud storage and data management solutions. Attackers exploited stolen credentials, likely obtained through malware infections, to access AT&T's Snowflake account. This breach is part of a broader trend of cyber attacks targeting cloud service providers. The stolen metadata, while not including the content of communications, can still pose significant privacy and security risks when combined with other data, AT&T has responded by working with cybersecurity experts and law enforcement, including the FBI, to contain and mitigate the breach. The company has implemented enhanced security measures and is notifying affected customers about the incident. Affected customers are advised to visit AT&T's FAQ page for more information on how to check if their phone numbers were exposed and what steps to take next. Continuing on, pharmacy giant Rite Aid has confirmed a significant data breach following a ransomware attack in June. This breach, claimed by the Ransom Hub Ransomware Group, has impacted one of the largest drugstore chains in the United States, which operates over 1,700 retail pharmacy stores across 16 states. Rite Aid, employing over 45,000 individuals, detected the cyber attack in June. They have been working with external cybersecurity experts to investigate and address the attack's impact. Although the company has restored all compromised systems, they are now sending data breach notifications to affected customers. Right Aid emphasized that no social security numbers, financial information, or patient information were compromised in the incident. The Ransom Hub ransomware gang has claimed responsibility for the attack, alleging they stole over 10 gigabytes of customer information including names, addresses, driver's license numbers, dates of birth, and Right Aid rewards numbers. The gang published this claim on their dark web leak site, indicating that they obtained around 45 million lines of personal information. They also shared a screenshot of some of the stolen data as proof and threatened to leak the entire data set within two weeks if negotiations for a ransom were not resumed. Right Aid's confirmation of the breach came after Bleeping Computer reached out to verify the ransomware gang's claims. Despite repeated requests for additional details, Rite Aid has not provided further information regarding the extent of the attack or the exact number of individuals affected. Ransom Hub, a relatively new threat group, specializes in data theft-based extortion rather than encrypting files. They demand ransom payments from victims in exchange for not leaking stolen files, often auctioning the data to the highest bidder if negotiations fail. Last month, the same group claimed responsibility for breaching the systems of U.S. telecom provider Frontier Communications, forcing them to shut down systems and stealing information from 750,000 customers. Moving to the next story, in a significant cybersecurity incident, Dallas County has confirmed that personal data belonging to over 200,000 individuals was exposed in a ransomware attack. This attack, executed by the Play Ransomware Group, occurred in October 2023. 
Dallas County, the second largest county in Texas, with a population of over 2.6 million residents, was the target of this malicious cyber operation. The attack led to the unauthorized access and theft of sensitive information, including full names, social security numbers, dates of birth, driver's license numbers, state identification numbers, taxpayer identification numbers, medical information, and health insurance details. The Play Ransomware Gang added Dallas County to its extortion portal on the dark web shortly after the attack, threatening to leak the stolen data if their ransom demands were not met. Dallas County acknowledged the incident and initiated a comprehensive review of the leaked data. By early November, the stolen information was published by the ransomware group. To address the concerns of affected individuals, Dallas County established a dedicated call center in January 2024 and has now begun notifying the impacted 201,404 individuals, which includes Dallas residents, employees, and others who interacted with its public services. In response to the breach, Dallas County has implemented several security measures to enhance its network protection. These measures include deploying endpoint detection and response solutions across all servers, enforcing password resets, and blocking malicious or suspicious IP addresses. This breach is part of a troubling pattern of cybersecurity incidents in the region. In November 2023, a Dallas County employee fell victim to a business email compromise scam resulting in a fraudulent payment of $2.4 million. Earlier in May 2023, the city of Dallas suffered a breach from the Royal Ransomware Group, which disrupted city operations, including police communications. In our final story, the company has confirmed that sensitive customer data was compromised in a cyber attack detected in March 2024. This breach did not involve ransomware, but was executed through a sophisticated malware attack that evaded detection while exfiltrating data. Fujitsu first discovered the breach in March when several of its systems were infected with malware. The investigation revealed that the malware initially targeted a single business computer and then spread to 49 others. This malware was highly advanced, employing techniques to disguise itself, making it difficult to detect. Upon discovery, Fujitsu immediately isolated the infected computers and started a thorough investigation with external cybersecurity experts. The company has confirmed that the malware executed commands to copy files, suggesting that sensitive customer data might have been exfiltrated. This data included personal information of individuals and business-related information of customers. Despite the breach, Fujitsu has not received any reports of the compromised data being misused. In response to the incident, the company has implemented enhanced security monitoring rules and updated its malware detection solutions to prevent similar attacks in the future. Fujitsu's prompt actions and transparency in handling this breach highlight the growing threat of sophisticated cyber attacks targeting major corporations. The company's efforts to mitigate the impact and bolster its cybersecurity defenses are crucial steps in protecting sensitive customer information. That's it for this week. Make sure to share and subscribe. See you soon.